Hi, this is Christina Haley. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make lebne. It's the Lebanese version of cream cheese. So here's the Greek yogurt. I put it in a strainer and a container to contain the whey. Of course, there's a cheesecloth. You cover the yogurt and then you refrigerate. You put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. If you do not have cheesecloth, go ahead and put it in paper towels. As you see, I have four cups of yogurt in this paper towel. Again, we're going to cover and we're going to refrigerate again for 24 hours. In 24 hours, you're going to have a paste like a cream cheese paste. It's going to feel like cream cheese as well. You take that, you add salt to it to taste, and I also add cayenne pepper. You may also add dry mint, and I make them into balls. Here I have the Lebne ball resting on paper towels to get uh, more whey out of them. Then you can place them in a jar and make sure you cover them completely with olive oil. I use 50% olive oil, 50% grapeseed oil, so the olive oil does not coagulate because I refrigerate them. Okay, so make sure it's covered to the top, and then you cover and put in the refrigerator. Here's the way that drip from the yogurt. I'm going to take it and save it. I usually put it in a jar and I put it in the refrigerator. One good use out of it is I drink the water. If you feel it's too sour for you, it's okay. That means there is healthy bacteria in it that is good for our gut. And I'm going to pour it in a jar and put it in the refrigerator. When I decide to make bread, I will use it instead of using regular water. This is healthy, has a lot of good bacteria in it that's good for our bodies. Otherwise, I will put it in the freezer. Make sure you leave space so the jar doesn't break. Once the lebne is ready, you can go ahead and plate it. Place it in the center of the plate. Put a little bit of olive oil on it and surround it by cucumber or tomatoes. The way I did it here, I put it in peppers, sweet peppers. For those that don't want to eat any bread, they can go ahead and enjoy it without having to worry about the calories. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until my next one, I bid you happiness always.